Yeah, that guy disproven. What's going on guys? It's Morsebringe bringing you back the next episode in the Pokemon Road to Victory series. After beating last week's gym over here, that was significantly easier than we thought. I guess we're just heading on to find where the next location is. This looks like an interesting spot. What is this? Let's see. Must Deep Space Center, the closest place to space. Okay. I mean, this makes sense for going for like Deoxys or something. But I don't think that's in this game. I don't remember Deoxys is in the original ones or only in Emerald. There's not a whole lot going on here. We can talk to this guy though, because he looks important. I wish ordinary people could go into space one day. Okay, so yeah, he's just alluding to Emerald, I guess. Not a whole lot going on here. So we'll head out. I think next we're supposed to surf again and head down. If I'm not mistaken. Over to where Steven's at, I believe. Is the next kind of area to be at. Is right down here. And I think close to a straight down shot. We shall see though. I did find this random guy that's just standing in the middle of the ocean on my way down. I apparently missed a part up here. Morse? Yes, this is my place. It's a little embarrassing how empty it is here. Oh, here, you should take this a gym. It contains dive. I've already taught my Pokemon. That way we can have the dive TM and probably get a little closer to where we're supposed to be going while we're down there. You'll notice dark patches of water and use dive if you come to deep water like it. You'll drop out to the seafloor. When you want to come back up, use dive again. In some places, it won't be possible for you to surface though. So then I guess we just drown. Let's try this again. All right, I'm not exactly sure where we're supposed to be going, but I do know we're supposed to be diving. So I went and got a tentacle just to go down here so we can navigate a little bit better. Hopefully we'll be able to find the solution without too many issues. As, as y'all know, puzzles are not my strong suit in these games, but we'll see what we can do. All right, I did find this. Submarine Explorer 1 is painted on the hull. This is the submarine team magma stolen slate port. So they must have gone ashore here. So I, I don't remember how this works. I know my Pokemon needs to use dive. Okay, this was an area that worked. Okay. So now they're just right up here, I guess? Oh, why did I get off of the Pokemon? Or is this the wrong area? This feels like it might have been the wrong area. Then why did it say that? This was a very fascinating place to use the move dive. So after a lot of uh, swimming around, I found this random town floating in the middle of nowhere. I guess that's interesting. What's this child say? See, isn't it neat? These houses are on water. I was born here. That fascinating child. All right, all you gotta do is use the move dive right there at the submarine. I don't know why it didn't work the first time, but for some reason it just didn't work. Now we've got some fun puzzles and some underground adventures. We'll probably skip through most of these encounters because they're not going to be interesting, but we'll see you on the other side. Interesting. There's a strange figure up here. <laughs> so it was you after all. Behold, see how beautiful it is. The sleeping form of the ancient Pokemon. I have waited so long for this day to come. It surprises me how you've managed to chase me here. You followed me into this room. But that's all over now. For the realization of my dream, you must disappear now. Now I guess we're fighting up against Maxi here. For a little bit of fun, he would like to battle. Send out a mighty in him. Fair enough. Still got our Manetric up front. 
without any real good moves on it. But we'll go for a Thunder Wave. Hopefully get hit a few less times. There we go. That's exactly what we're looking for. And we'll just spark it. Okay. Almost half its HP. But it missed. Okay. Hit it again. What do we got? Oh, you used a super potion. Okay. Fair enough. You spark on it. Get it back down. Oh, it turns yellow. Get it again. Does this take it out? Hey, we're six levels below the thing. There we go. We have to use a camera up. We will indeed switch over to our grass type. For a leaf blade against this guy. Make things a little bit easier on ourselves. Use a leaf blade. There we go, one shot. Critical hit even. Fainted. Gain some XP. Some XP. Is it Crobat? Yeah, we'll switch back to the Manectric. And we're gonna use this Crobat. We'll hit it with Spark. Wing Attack. Ow. It's not very effective. Haha. -ha. We do good damage here? Ooh, wow, we do good damage. 60% or so. Oh, and it paralyzed even. Nice. Used a super potion. I don't think that's gonna be quite enough. But it might be, might be enough for like one or two HP after this. We'll just have to see. Yeah, it's got that little bit of HP left. We'll hit it with a quick attack. And there we go. Let's go back to my nitric gained XP. Oh, and gained XP. And we've defeated Maxi. I, I lost again. Foo, foo, foo. I commend you. I must recognize that you are truly gifted. But I have this in my possession. With this blue orb, I can make Groudon. The blue orb suddenly begins shining by itself. Now everything's blue. Very, very blue. Groudon's uh, coming for us, looks like. And then he ascended into the heavens! <laughs> I didn't do anything! Why did the blue orb... Where did Groudon go? Hmm, it's a message from our members outside. Yes, what is it? Hmm, the sun is burning brightly? Good, that should have happened. This is why we awakened Groudon, to realize Team Magma's vision of expanding the world's landmass. What? It's far hotter than we envisioned. It's so hot that it's dangerous. That can't be. That's just not possible. Hold your position and monitor the situation. There's something wrong. The blue orb is supposed to awaken and control Groudon. But why? Why did Groudon disappear? Because Groudon got ascended into the heavens. Why? What have you wrought? You've finally awoken Groudon, haven't you? What will happen to the world if the sunshine continues for all eternity? The world's seas will all dry up and disappear. What are you saying? The blue orb should let me control Groudon. That can't be possible. We don't have the time to argue about it here. Get outside and see for yourself. See if what you've wrought is the world you desired. Morris, come on. You have to get out of here too. Okay. So now everything looks a little white make sure that we know it's bright outside what happened what is this wretched scene did i make a horrible mistake i only wanted do you understand now maxi do you finally see how disastrous your dream turned out to be we have to hurry we have to do something before the situation goes completely out of control mars we, Team Aqua, had been pursuing Team Magma to prevent this from happening. You've been very helpful, but I fear the worst has happened. It's gone too far for a child like you to manage. Leave things to us and get out of here while you still can. 
This defies belief. A super ancient Pokemon. Its power is unbelievable. It has upset the balance of nature. I guess I'm just supposed to stand on... Oh, okay, Stephen comes. Mars, what is happening? This is terrible. If this doesn't stop all of Hoenn, now the whole world will be... Per I think that said destroyed. I hit the button before I read it. The cause of this calamity, the blazing sun, is in the sky above Sutopolis. What in the world is taking place there? There's no point arguing here. Sutopolis should provide answers. Morris, I don't know what you intend to do, but don't do anything reckless. Okay, I'm going to Sutopolis. Alright, well I guess we're going to Sutopolis. Because that's about the only thing I know to do. Well, I found this random gym in the middle of nowhere. The door is closed. Alright, well, I guess that's not where we're headed quite yet. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is Atopolis. Kind of what this looks like. Now I just gotta remember where all the people are at in Sotopolis. The door is closed. Why has everybody got their door closed? I guess we'll just hunt and stand Steven wherever he's at. Mars, you came too, under the scorching sun yet. Oh yes, can you hear out what my friend has to say? My name is Wallace. I'm this town's gym leader. I've also been entrusted with the protection of the Cave of Origin. This sunshine is caused by a power emanating from the Cave of Origin. That, that is the Red Orb. I see. Follow me. You didn't even say I took it out. The dude just like looked inside of my pockets. This sunlight. People and Pokemon need sunlight to live. But why does this sunlight fill us with so much dread? The blazing su sun over Sotopolis is intensifying. Soon all of Hoenn will be under its withering glare. If that were to happen... You had to stop to monologue for a second? The Cave of Origin is ahead. No one from Sotopolis is permitted to enter the Cave of Origin, but you must go, together with your Red Orb. You must go regardless of what awaits you inside the cave. Morris, I never expected you to be holding the Red Orb. You'll be okay. With your Pokemon, you'll get things done no matter what. I'm convinced of it. Alright, now does this take us in so we can catch Groudon, I guess? Oh, no, I don't think I ever learned Flash. Oh, the ground chicken. Oh no. The ground is shaking. The ground is shaking. Even more now. Oh, there's a Pokeball. We found HM07. Is HMs down here? What is this one for? Oh, yeah. All right, let's get us a quick save in, and we'll go ahead and start this battle. Now everything's red. And here comes Groudon. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to catch him on the first go. I'm not even sure if we're supposed to catch him. We'll do what we can. Groudon intensifies the sun rays. doesn't affect the wild Groudon. Oh, this is going to be a little bit harder fight than I thought it was going to be. The sunlight is strong. There we go. Groudon was caught. We can add it to the Pokedex. It's whopping ton. It doesn't need a name. Send it to the PC for now. Oh, no one comes to check on me in here. Interesting. So now I've got to figure out my way out of this spiral. Probably going to go down on the way to out of here. Because I got one dude with very little HP. Looks like they all went over here to congregate. Mores, we owe it all to you. The sky above Sotopolis has returned to normal. For that, Wallace sends his thanks too. And that same Wallace is waiting for you inside. He's strong, but the way you are now, you should be on equal footing with him. Give it your best shot. Alright, now we've got the ice gem looks like. 
Oh. Looks like we got some f fights coming up here. Now, great. Alright, so I'm pretty sure this is one of the ones you have to break every piece. And then it turns to stairs. Okay. These puzzles aren't too bad. I've already messed this one up, but that's okay. It's fine. We'll manage. Alright, let's give this another shot. Oh. I make sure I put the right inputs in here. Okay. Now we gotta figure out how this one works. Nope, I already messed it up. All right, let's give this another shot. Cause I'm fairly certain. Oh, I had the comp. I had it last time. Now I messed it up again. I've got more ideas here. This isn't it either, but this is significantly closer than we have been. Okay, I'm kind of thinking, y'all can't see where I'm pointing or where I'm thinking, but I'm kind of thinking there in the center um, is where I'm messing up this. Let's give this another shot. I think I'm going to try and go on the other side this time and see if we can get a better path starting on this side instead. Uh, looks promising, but you know, I am not the master of puzzles by any mean. That has been regularly proven on multiple accounts that I am not great at these but looks like we finally figured it out allow me to formally introduce myself I am Wallace the gym leader of Sotopolis there's something about you a difference in your demeanor I think I sense that in you what happened inside the cave of origin and what you did I will likely learn through our upcoming battle now, show me, show me the power you wield with your Pokemon, and I in turn shall present you with a performance of illusions in water by me and my Pokemon. Good thing I chose the grass starter. Alright, Wallace would like to battle. Send out a love disc. Go herb. And we'll go with absorbs. Just because we are missing a little bit of HP. I think Absorb will do most of the damage needed throughout this battle. Unless he's got some really weird types going. Oh, that's not good. Confused us. Hurt himself in confusion. That's great. Alright. Oh, he snapped out of confusion already. Nice. Used Absorb. That'll do the other half of the Love Disc's life. It'll faint. It'll heal up a little bit. Love Disc fainted. Herb gained XP. Owen gained XP. Leader Wallace used Acelio. We will not be switching Pokemon. I have a really good Ace up here, and I'm planning on using him. Leaf Blade. One, two, three. And one shot, super effective. The Celio fainted. Our gained XP, Owen gained XP. Wallace sent out a Milotic. And we will not switch Pokemon. 
Not sure if we're gonna have a monolithic for this. I know a Phoebus was requested, and then I was told not to worry about it by the same person when contacted, so not sure if we're going for a Phoebus or Milotic. Let me know if that's something y'all still want to see. Because I know that they can be a pain to catch. And unfortunately, I cannot give any form of a tutorial on how to catch a Milotic. As they uh, have very random patterns to where they spawn. And there we go. So my load fainted. Or gained XP. Oh, and gained XP. Wow, this is about to send in a wish cash. We will not be switching Pokemon. I am going to absorb because we are getting a little low on HP there. I have a bad feeling he's going to try and paralyze us throughout this fight. But we'll see what happens. She has to use Amnesia, okay. Interesting choice. Special defense sharply rose. I don't think it's gonna be enough. And there we go, it's super effective. Which cast had its energy drained. Which cast fainted, herb gained XP. Owen gained XP. And Leader Wallace is about to send in a Seeking as his ace. We'll be leaving out Herb here. To fight this Seeking. And possibly one shot of Seeking. There we go. It's super effective. Seeking fainted. Herb gained XP. Owen gained XP. Player defeated Leader Wallace. Bravo, I realize now your authenticity and magnificence as a Pokemon trainer. I find much joy in having met you and your Pokemon. You have proven yourself worthy of a rain badge. Accept it. We got a lot of money for that, too. I like the money. We got that rain badge. Having that badge assures you the full obedience of all your Pokemon to every command you make. The badge also allows you to use the HM Move Waterfall to scale walls of cascading water. And so that you never forget the battle we shared, take this. A TM03. Put it away. The TM I handed you contains Water Pulse. In use, it will occasionally confuse the target with ultrasonic waves. And... Oh, interesting. But with that, we'll end up today's episode. I believe this is episode 8, so tune in next time for the battle against the Elite Four and the champion of the region. But until then, make sure to leave me comments down below for Pokemon you want to see in future seasons of this. As this one's coming to a close, probably won't be a whole lot more catches going. But let me know what you want to see. Leave a like and subscribe for more content. And peace out.